with the Chinese military sending 25 warplanes into Taiwanese airspace on Monday. The intelligence community's annual threat assessment also pointing to Beijing as the greatest threat to the United States. 美国媒体关注中共侵略野心，二十五架战机入侵台湾领空成为国际焦点。而美国情报界的分析也指出，相比俄罗斯，中共才是美国的最大威胁。前美国国务卿蓬佩奥指出，对抗中共的方式之一就是与盟国合作，因此他高兴见到美日峰会，也肯定日本对台湾的关心。President Biden meeting with Prime Minister Suga. I, I met with Prime Minister Suga. He's a good man, a dedicated man. The Japanese care deeply about Taiwan as well. Pompeo 指出，中共对台军事威胁的同时，也对日本带来巨大的风险。Pompeo 建议互相结盟，并提供两种防御性武器系统支持台湾。这些都可以展现决心对中共产生震慑。反过来说，如果美国没有拿出决心，只会增加中共采取行动的可能，将台湾置于危险之中。So we can build out coalitions. We can support Taiwan by providing them defensive weapon systems. All of those things are the kinds of things that will lead to deterrence against China. But if the United States doesn't demonstrate its resolve, the Chinese are much more likely to take action that will put the Taiwanese people at risk. 自从拜登政府上台以来，中共军机扰台有增无减，乌克兰、中东、北韩还有缅甸局势动荡不断。蓬佩奥表示，我们必须明明白白揭露中共的威胁与野心，公开让全世界知道中共的阴谋，不能够只是私下去谈。这也是川普政府能最大程度震慑中共的原因。We should talk about these publicly, not just privately. We should talk about the threat. We should be honest about that. The world should know. What the Chinese Communist Party is up to and why it is they're pursuing this. When we do that, when that clarity that the Trump administration had is public, then the possibilities to deter the Chinese Communist Party are much greater.